And as the CDC updates travel guidelines, the French Quarter is already seeing an influx of crowds. The change is a welcome one for the local hospitality industry that was just devastated by COVID. Tan Trung joins us live in Jackson Square with Cathay Dumont's story. Hi there, Tan. Hey Karen, a lot of us have spent miserable time in line in the heat waiting for some of Cafe Demand's goodies. But after so much isolation, we didn't hear anybody complaining about being in line and certainly not about the weather today. And if Cafe Demand is sort of the barometer for business in the French Quarter, then today should give people a lot of hope about life after the pandemic. Okay, it's only one day, but after more than a year of headlines dealing with death, depression, and desolate streets, this looks and tastes pretty sweet. A year ago, you and I were standing we here were. relatively empty. How does it feel to kind of see this behind you? You today? know, it's so nice to see life coming back to the French Quarter. You know, for a while there, you, you knew it was going to come back, but in the back of your mind, you're never sure when. And to be fair, we don't know when. A full recovery of the local hospitality and tourism industry is projected to be a multi-year process. Café de Mans president, Jay Roman, says it's fantastic seeing long lines at the historic stand. But New Orleans needs cruises and convention business to return. For now, Café de Mans still has to keep limited hours. We're still far from normal. I mean, we're still open limited hours every day. You know, again, we're used to being closed 36 hours a year, we're closed 12 hours a day now. In the meantime, Roman says it'll be the traditional tourists that will help the economy. Visitors like Gabriel Benitez, he flew in from San Antonio. This is our first vacation away from San Antonio since the pandemic. We decided, what do we want to do? Something different, so we decided New Orleans. Pilar is from California. She's waiting to get vaccinated, but couldn't wait to travel. I feel good, yeah, happy, like being out and having connections with people, yeah. It's, you miss that. Yeah, of course. According to the CDC, about 100 million Americans, or 30% of the population, have gotten at least one dose of the COVID vaccine. As that number grows, so may the crowds in the quarter. And that's the new thing. Everybody talks about which shot they're on. Did I'm, you get vaccinated? I did. In okay, fact, yeah. I tell you what, I. I just brought my card down for my daughter to laminate today. So yes, I, <laughs> a card carrying member. I'm a card carrying member. Now keep in mind the CDC is still advising against unnecessary travel. And if you do travel, you do have to still wear your mask and keep good social distancing and all that jazz that people have been talking about. Now, that said, despite all the warnings from the CDC, we met a lot of people today who said this is their first vacation, first trip in a long time, and they plan on doing more in the coming weeks. Reporting in Jackson Square, Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. Makes me smile to see the French Quarter live and back in action. Thanks so much, Tan.